hello all so in today's video i will show you my cnc 3018 complete setup and all the upgradations that i have done in my cnc machine so that it can be used to cut aluminium also and i have used some touch screen controller so that it becomes very easy to control that cnc machine so first let's see its unboxing Okay so this is my complete setup and you can see the stock spindle i have kept on the table which is very small and less powerful it can't be used to cut metals on this cnc and this is the 500 watt spindle which runs almost at 10000 to 12000 rpm to mount this spindle i have made this bracket from 3d printed abs material this is the cooling fan stock cooling fan is not balanced and it makes so much vibrations and it becomes very loud this fan will help to keep all the chips away from the tool this is very small upgrade but this is very effective and this is a knob to control the speed of 500 watt spindle and this plate on which this knob is mounted i have made using this machine itself this is a control panel and to keep this control panel i have made one box all the components are made on this machine itself this plastic hinges i have made using 3d printer and this is a touch screen controller so that it becomes very easy to control the machine you can see we can easily operate this machine so you don't have to keep your pc or laptop connected with this machine throughout cutting operation and if you compare the stock spindle and this 500 watt spindle you can see the stock spindle is very small the 500 watt spindle is almost of a double size power supply for 500 watt spindle i have mounted at the back side of the machine This is the box for keeping controller inside. I have made this using this CNC machine itself. Now these are the limit switches. We can get the limit switch kit also, but that's very expensive. You can get these kind of switches very cheap in your local market. So I have just made one slot there, and I have fixed those limit switches in that slot. These are the limit switches for Y axis. I am using some bolts. I have fixed them on the support plate. Even if you don't upgrade your spindle, you must install limit switches on both the directions for x axis, y axis, and z axis also. I will show you it's working. You have to control the speed of your spindle manually. because this is not a 500 watt controller given with the 3018 cnc machine a touch screen controller so it's very easy to operate and it's very easy to monitor
so this is the final product i have made keychain for my bike keys so i will try aluminium on that also and i will upload the video for that thank you